This is the test fixture that we will use to determine the bulk modulus of our solid cast polyurethane sample. The test fixture is built to be rigid so that when force is applied, the cavity within the fixture will remain unchanged. It was built with a removable base to prevent trapping any air when the sample is inserted. This is the plunger that will apply the force from our load cell to the sample. The force will create isostatic pressure inside the test fixture. The plunger goes in the top, like this. Now, we'll go through the calculation of the bulk modulus. Here, we have the bulk modulus formula, which is the pressure times the initial volume divided by the change in volume. We have the inner diameter of our test fixture and the initial length of our sample. Using the inner diameter, we multiply by pi to find the cross-sectional area. We then multiply the cross-sectional area by the length to get the initial volume. The volume change is the initial area times the change in length. The change in length is a value we get by reading the results from our computer-controlled load cell. Pressure is the force divided by the cross-sectional area. Finally, to get the bulk modulus, we plug our values into the formula. Pressure times the initial volume divided by the change in volume. And the result is approximately 485,000 PSI. This table shows the bulk modulus of several materials, including four Gallagher Corporation polyurethane compounds. GC960 is a softer polycaprolactone material. GC1090 is a medium hardness polyether based TDI. GC1285 is a medium hardness polyether based MDI. GC1575 is a hard polyester based TDI. If you have any questions or cast polyurethane inquiries, please email us, call us, or visit our website. Thank you for watching.